it is day two of my summer decluttering. So if you did not see last week, I did my living room declutter and clean with me. If you've not seen that video, I will link it in the card above. Today, we are tackling the closet. So I'm not sure what we're gonna tackle after this, but I'm just in the mood to get rid of things. I want to go through some areas and just let some things go. So I did that in the living room last week and it felt really good. So I'm not sure how much we're going to get done in my closet today. I'm not sure if that means just the hanging up clothes, if that means bags and drawers and all of that. We're just going to see how long this first process takes. So here is my room at the moment. So I'm just keeping it real like I like to do. Those are Nathan's clean clothes over there. These are my clean clothes over here. And then you're going to see in the closet, I do have dirty laundry. I've not gotten to that yet. I've been working on shop stuff this week. So I haven't been able to get my laundry started. There it is. So all of this in the floor needs to be reorganized and put away. I've got bags. So those bags, I want to pull all of that down. I want to look through all of that. So I can't remember if I did this last summer or not. If I did go through all of this, I don't remember it, so we're doing it again. So I did get all of this organized down here. I might not touch any of this, but I will go through it uh, because I just cleaned all of this out a few weeks ago, so I know it's not going to... I'm not getting rid of any of it because I got rid of everything that I was getting rid of a few weeks ago. But I will share how I've got it organized, what the organizers are, and all of that. So we're just going to take this one step at a time and the first step is going to be pulling everything out. And here is what I've learned through this process. When you pull things out of your closet, like right now, I don't feel like I have a lot of clothes. But once I start pulling all of these items out, I'm like, eee, I didn't realize I had all of this. So everything is going to come out minus the clothes down here because I've already gone through all of that. Yikes. This is just my shoes. These are shoes, bags, scarves, and just basically anything else that was either on the floor or on shelves. Now, I did leave a few things on the shelves. I'll share that with you in just a second. But I can tell you, I can already see a few things that I would like to get rid of. So, I'm not sure if this will be first or last. We'll I'll probably do this last. And then here are all of the clothes. So I will tell you most of my clothes are t-shirts because that is what I usually wear. So some of the things in here that I don't wear as often I will keep because I do need a few dressy things and I have some extra hangers. The items that are supposed to go on those hangers are probably in those that tub over there. So this is everything. And you guys, I do not have one of those wardrobes that you switch out between seasons. So basically what you are seeing in front of this camera is everything that I have. These are all of the clothes. I don't have a winter wardrobe and a summer wardrobe. Everything that I own stays in the closet all year long because y'all, I wear t-shirts in the summer and in the winter. Sometimes I'll wear them under sweatshirts and so forth. So here's the thing. Some of these things I have had for years, like 10 plus years. So some of these things you've probably seen since the beginning of this channel. So let me just say that some things I might get rid of, I'm not sure, that are in perfectly great condition, but I just feel like that I've moved on from that. So sometimes we just need something fresh or we're just over something that we bought 10 years ago. So just note that just because I say, hey, I'm getting rid of that, 
doesn't mean that it's in bad condition. I'm just ready to move on from it. So here's the closet. This is the floor. That is Nathan's travel pillow. Put that up there for him. So that is his travel pillow. So this is his side of the closet. And those are his pants. And I put those pants up. So here is the floor. I probably need to vacuum now that I have most everything out. So we will straighten up these shelves in a little bit. Um, but I'm going to leave everything on there because I'm probably going to keep everything. Now here, these are just some, that is some flat irons in case mine goes bad. I do have some backups and a backup blow dryer. These are wedding albums. This is a little keepsake box here. These are just some random little boxes. Y'all, all this is just going to stay here underneath the shelf or underneath the clothes. You can't see them. I forgot that they were even there until I pulled all those clothes out. So up here, this is all that I have left up here on this top shelf. So this is my weighted blanket that I got for Christmas and I will put that on my Amazon storefront if you're interested in that. I love it. I stay cold all the time. I don't use it in the summer, but I use it a lot during the winter. It is a minky weighted blanket. Then over here, this is actually in this bag. My husband got it for me for Christmas. It is a heated jacket. And if I can find it, it is on Amazon. I will link it. Um, he got it for me for when we go to like football games and it gets really cold. So it's like an electric jacket. And then the bear is Mr. Big. So it is the first thing that Nathan got for me when we started dating back in 1998. He got it for me for Valentine's Day. He has gone everywhere with me. So it looks a little bit ragged right now. So he just stays in the top of the closet. So that is everything that I took out. And now let's get to organizing everything in the bedroom. Okay, this is going to be in no particular order. I'm just going to go around the bed and we're just going to look through everything. So these first sets of shirts here are a lot of Altered Ego and that company is not even, I think they sold out the company and the name to somebody else so they don't make these anymore. But I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to look at the armpit stains. Like a look, that has an armpit stain. We're going to get rid of that. Even though it's super cute, it does have armpit stains. And that's basically what I need to look at. This one. See, that one's got stains too. Yes, that's got stains. And some of these I have not wore for a while, to be honest. This one, I think this one's okay. I want to say, is this the one? I have one of these that has a stain on it. I don't know if it's the white one though. I feel like I was gonna wear one of these. And y'all, these these are Lush and they are from Nordstrom. I've had these for several years. I don't wear them all the time, but I do when I need to wear something dressy. I will put one of these on. I could Maybe I got rid of it. I think it may have been the light green one. I mean the light blue one, maybe. Okay, long sleeve t-shirts. You guys, I keep long sleeve t-shirts because I wear them underneath everything. So I'm keeping all of these. Okay, this is my North Face rain jacket. Like when it's really raining, downpouring. So I need to keep it. This is an Under Armour thick coat. Keep it. I'm going to keep this. Keep this. Forgot I have this dress. What size is this dress? Lord, it's a medium. I don't even know if it, I mean, I think it'll fit. Keep that, I'm gonna keep this. If this is that, I'm gonna get rid of this. I've had this dress for a very long time. So it came from Macy's and I've probably had it. I got this before I was pregnant with Derek. So Derek is eight. So this is probably at least 10 years old. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay, these t-shirts look like a hot mess, to be honest. That looks all wrinkly, even though... Oh, it's got a stain on it. Two stains. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this one. It's got some stains on it. So 
so all of the hanging up clothes have now been looked through and evaluated I guess you'd say so these are all the hangers that I need to get put back in the closet so I need to do that in just a second before we move to this massive pile over here these are the tops that will be donated so I've got a donations bag there's 19 shirts in there and then I've got the one with the armpit stains I'm not donating that so that is all going to get donated and then tossed and then this is what the closet looks like so it looks roughly the same but y'all there's a lot more room so everything is not so squished in there like it was before so that feels pretty amazing to be honest it is a very good feeling to go through your closet and get rid of things if i'm honest so that looks good so now we're going to take care of this massive pile over here and we're going to do this one thing at a time and i'm just going to kind of walk you through how i'm going to do this so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm actually going to put the luggage back in there because the luggage i am going to use so this was the luggage that i used for years it is the travel pro brand and it is a soft side luggage i just decided to get the hard side luggage the samsonite that is actually in my amazon storefront if you're interested in that the smaller ones in it so it came in a three-piece set 28 24 and i want to say 20 inch so the one that's sitting there is the 24 inch so this actually just goes right back there in the closet and then i will put the other one right here so i went ahead and put all of those extra hangers over there i like to keep the extra hangers hanging right there i'm hoping that i can keep them there and then up here i just put those two 31 gifts bins one has the scars and the other has the winter hats so next we're probably going to move to shoes i think that's what we're going to do next so pull out the ones these i don't want i will tell you i'm probably going to sell these i've never worn i don't have the box i got rid of the box but i had all intention of wearing these steve maddens and y'all they're just way too heavy for me so i originally thought i was going to be able to do all the shoes and then i would share it with you at the end but then i realized that i want to talk about some of them that are in boxes and share the ones i'm getting rid of so we're just going to kind of wing this and kind of do it a little bit at a time so all of these shoes here i'm getting rid of and the reason why is because i've kept these shoes thinking oh i might wear them oh they might come back in style now these i'm selling so we've already talked about those so i did bring another bag because i have a feeling that i'm going to need a second bag of um i'm going to have a second bag to get rid of these you guys i have probably had these for four or five years i haven't wore these in several years look as you can see i've gotten I've gotten some wear out of them. These have seen their better days. I love these shoes, but you guys, I mean, they, they have come and gone. Looks like they need to go. These, I want to say, you know what? I just cannot, and here's the thing. I had two pairs of these, and I cannot decide if I want to keep these or not. I think I'm going to keep this pair. I got rid of a pair already. I think I'm going to keep these. These, I used to love the Avalon Toms. And I've had these for probably two or three years. And as you see, I've not, I think maybe I've wore these one time and they're just dusty. I mean, all that's on them is dust. So those are going to go. These I got, I just thought I was going to like them. Then I wore them and look, my jeans dyed them and now I won't wear them because, um, I should have known. I like dark color shoes. This is one reason why is because of the denim i don't want them marking on my shoes so i should have known better than that so that's going to go so i'm going to move this to the hallway and then talk about the next things so before we go over what is in the boxes i would like to stack the shoes up here if i could we're going to see i might have to move it around but let me talk about the shoes that are in here before we get to the ones in the boxes so i'm going to put my sperry's back over here y'all i just don't want to want this pair in the winter and then i had a perfectly fine pair and then i got rid of them so i'm going to keep these um we'll put these here so these are my sperry duck boots so i like to wear these when it's raining i even wore these at one of kate's cheer competitions when she went to dallas a few years ago i've got all of my birkenstocks that you guys have seen 
these and these will be linked in my Amazon storefront these are the Arizona Birkenstocks and y'all I know this style of Birkenstock is expensive but these are some of my favorite shoes no joke I live in these up here in the Crocs I have one right now and these are the Eva Birkenstocks Kate's got a pair of these and I have two pair my mom has some pairs of these the black I've had these for several years this is what I take to the beach when I go and then I purchased the white pair this year and Kate's actually wore these too she wore these to a rehearsal dinner so they actually kind of look dressy too so I've got the black and the white Eva Birkenstocks if I can squeeze all this up here in this rack if I can find it on Amazon I will link it or something similar I got this from Walmart and it was like ten dollars no joke it's the mainstay brand I can't ever find it online. If I can find it, I'll link it. I've got two pair of Chacos. And y'all, I haven't wore these in a few years, but I don't want to get rid of them. I have a pair of tennis shoes. And y'all, I need to probably get another pair of tennis shoes because seriously, and I have one other pair that's in the kitchen that's great like this that needs, it's, it's old. These are my Under Armour ones that I've probably had for five years that are my favorite tennis shoe i probably wore this almost every single day this year during school and i can't find something that i like as well as these so i'm hoping i can then i just got these these are the croc athletic shoes i forgot what they're called i'll link them if i can find them so those are the tennis shoes and then i put the sperry's over here so that is what we have here now let's take a look at the boxes so now to the boxes so i had this idea of putting these in my clear boxes but those are in the attic and i don't feel like getting in the attic right now because it's so hot so we're just going to leave them in the boxes and then we'll do that on another video so these let's look at all of the crocs first so last summer i purchased several pairs of crocs these are so cute and I haven't worn them yet. I got them at the end of the summer. And so these are the Swift Water Sandals. So this is going to go in there. I've got two of the same ones here. I've got the black ones. I'm going to make sure that I'm sharing these. Okay. I have the black pair here. And these are the Croc Band Crocs. I'm hoping they fit. I hope I got the right size. Yeah, because if I would have got the other size, I would have been too. I can wear them or Kate can wear them. Either one. Okay, so I got the black ones and then I also got the white ones. So these are the Croc, brand, Croc Band flip flops. So those are going to go in there. Then I have always wanted a pair of Tory Burch Miller sandals and these were on clearance last year for a very 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 good deal so i got them i want to say i got them from nordstrom and so i wore these to the rehearsal dinner i love these and i don't i have wanted a pair of the tory birch miller sandals for quite some time but i didn't want to pay 200 dollars for them these were deeply discounted at nordstrom and then i got an additional percentage off so they have like every single color in them too so you can wear them with so much so that's why i went ahead and got these and i'm going to link these in my amazon storefront because i purchased these because i wanted a pair of the tory birch miller sandals in brown for the wedding i went to and i just could not pay 200 dollars. i found these for 30 something and they are basically the same thing these were so comfortable and i will tell you i wore these rehearsal dinner i wore these to the wedding and these were a lot more comfortable than the others here these are sam edelman i think and they're called canyon are they canyon circus by sam edelman and it is in the color canyon's saddle and i'm usually a seven and a half but based on the reviews they told you to go up a size so i got an eight and they fit perfect so if you're looking for some dress sandals highly recommend these 
So if you can't tell, I was in a big uh, shoe purchasing mode a few uh, months ago when we went to a cheer competition for Kate. So I got all of these. <laughs> Yes, they were on sale. It was like buy one, something, something. So I've seen a lot of people with these Blowfish Malibu shoes. So I love gray shoes. So I got two different ones. I got this one here. This one is the Marley. This is a seven and a half. So I thought I would try this style. So I just got these. I haven't worn them yet. Probably going to be more of a fall shoe. And then this one here. This one is the Play. I love the way that looks. And like I said, gray is my color. I love a gray shoe. So I'm going to try both of those. Those are brand new. I'll put those in here. And then I got two of these. These were originally $40. They were on sale for $24.99. And then they were cheaper than that. So I got two pairs of these. Look how cute these are. They're leopard. So I thought these were cute. So I got this color. And then I want to say I got red. And they are the Jelly Pop Shoes um, Dallas. And they come in so many different colors. I think these are on Amazon too. If they are, I will link them. Oh yes, I forgot I got red. How stinking cute is that? So I need this in black because if you notice the Steve Madden, the Steve, is it Madden, Madden Girl is what it's called by Steve Madden. They had this exact same shoe and this is what I wore the mess out of and I wanted the black one in this one but they didn't have it at the store. I need to order that. So those are all of, oh no I got two more shoes over here. Let me grab those. Let me put these up and grab those. And y'all I could, I could probably take these out of the box. These are pretty old, but I keep them for little dress shoes. These are just Target sandals. I'm sure several of you have gotten these shoes before. And then the rope style ones. So I have the gold ones. And I have the white. And I just keep them in here just in case I have an outfit that needs one of these colors. And I could probably fit all these in one box. Yes, I probably can. There. Yes, they can all fit in one box. See? There we go. Okay, so those are all of my shoes. So that looks pretty good. I don't know if they'll stay right here. Y'all know these were at the top, the bottom, on the shelves. They were kind of everywhere. So I kind of like all of my shoes in one spot. So we're going to see if they'll work right here or if I need to move them. So that basket up there has house shoes in it. Seriously, I'm not kidding. And there's all the boxes and the shoes you saw at the beginning. Now we're to the part that I did not want to tackle. But <laughs> the part that I have to. All of the bags. So, I don't even know where to start. Oh, y'all. I, I don't know. This is the hardest part for me because I know there are some things that I want to get rid of, but I don't know if I can just, I don't know if I can do it. So we're going to see. So let's start with the two totes here. This here, I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to put this up and then we'll talk about those two totes there. So let me put this back on the tripod. And my opinion is sometimes it doesn't matter how many times you've decluttered before. Some things are just hard to part with, honestly. So this is my Dagny Dover um, Medium Landon Carry-All. This is my first one here. My mom got this for me for Christmas. I haven't used it yet, but it was one of the clearance out um, prints. How cute is it? I cannot wait to use it. There we go. And here's the best part. It has a little trolley sleeve in the back. So I really love this. I love that I was able to get this print and everything. So I'm going to put this on the top shelf and then we'll move to those totes. Okay, so I'm going to take everything out of here. And I think most everything in here is jujube. I think, well, no, it's not. Oh, Lord. Okay. I need to reorganize some of this. So this is my Fry Leather Crossbody. I love this. My husband got this for me for Christmas. I want to say 
two or three years ago. I love it. I really do. I don't know the name of it. I know it's discontinued. Um, but they had it at Belk, clearanced out, and that is where he got it for me. So I really, really like it. So it was like a fraction of the cost of what a normal fry handbag costs. And I love that they have it in a dust bag. So I'm going to keep this in here. And these totes that I have here, y'all have a ton of these totes. These are the 31 gifts, gifts totes. I use these as well for uh, my shop uh, mail. So I'll put all the mail in them to ship out to y'all. This is the medium size. I got these. And y'all, <laughs> this is like a common thing. I get a lot of stuff when they're either on the outlet or clearance out. This was on clearance. This was during their outlet sale, I want to say three years ago. So this is a Christmas print. But I just think it's too cute. So I use it in my closet. So we're going to get that in here. Next one. And y'all, I'm just going through here. I don't even know what all of these are, to be honest. Um, oh, I see. I forgot I even had this. This is a J. Crew. So if you notice, I like to have at least one of everything. So I've got a black crossbody in case I have a black outfit. Then I have a um, brown crossbody in case I have a brown themed outfit. And my camera is about to die. So then I have some straps that go with this. So I'll share those with you in a minute because I'm going to put those in here as well. Then you've probably seen this. This is my Lug Carousel Crossbody. I just think it's so cute. My sister got this for me for Christmas a few years ago. Love all the bright colors. And now I'm going to switch out my battery and then I'll share those straps with you. Okay. So this little 31 Gifts. Oh, what was this called? So this little 31 Gifts tote, or it was called Oh Snap Bin. I don't think they sell these anymore, but I have this strapped on my rack in there, and some of this stuff needs to be kept in there. So I got these straps off of Amazon, so if I can still find them, I'll link them in my Amazon storefront to go with those bags in case I wanted to swap out the straps. So we're going to keep those in there. Um, next, let's see. So, y'all, I got this a few years ago from Shop Disney. It is a crossbody strap, but I think I'm going to sell it because I have not used it. It's still wrapped up. I don't even want to unwrap it. But I haven't used it, and I'm probably not going to, so I think I'm going to sell this. Okay. So, I have this. I'm going to put this one in here. So, if you know, I have several La Sport Sack backpacks. If you've been here for any length of time, you probably know that. The one that you've probably seen the most Kate is using right now, it is, oh, looky there. It is my original one. So, this was one I got a few years ago. I absolutely love it. I think it's the basic backpack. I got this off Amazon. I'm going to be linking a lot of stuff today. So, whatever I can find, I will link in my Amazon storefront. So, I love the sport sack bags because here's the great thing. You can seriously wad this up and put it in any bag. So, I've give, given them as gifts. I cannot tell you how many times. So, we're going to put that in there. And I think that's it for there. Let me see what else we have floating around here. So, I'm going to start working on this second one here with other things that are not technically purses so this is going to be the second one so i have two of these that are going to go on the top of the closet so the first thing i'm going to put in here are all of my super bees so super bees jujube i am a jujube affiliate i always have my link in the description so um if you click and make a purchase i do make some commission now this one i purchased off of somebody in a facebook group because if you notice, it screams Minnie Mouse. And let me share the inside. This was from several years ago. They did not have it available anymore. Look at that. Is that not the cutest? So I purchased this from secondhand from somebody. And it actually came from like China, I think. So this was called um, Black Ruby. These are amazing things. If you are looking to purchase your first thing from GGB, I highly recommend the Super Bees. You can use them for so many things. Here is another one. This is the Once Upon a Time print, the Disney print. This is their newest Disney print. 
So I have been using these, and y'all, these are great for the beach. They're great for laundry. They're great for school, work. I've been using this one recently as a work tote. And then I have two of these. Where's the other one? The other one's probably in my closet. So I purchased one of these and then my husband got me one for Christmas because I asked for one and then I changed my mind and he'd already bought it. So this is my favorite Jujube print. This is the Disney floral and look at the inside. Isn't it adorable? So I have a ton of stuff in this print. So those are my Super Bs. And I have the navy one. Where's the navy blue one? It might be in this closet. Let me see. So I have two that aren't even out of the package yet. So this is the one my husband got me for Christmas. So I have two of these. So this one I'm going to keep in plastic until I need to use it. And then this one is the navy duchess. It's still in the package as well. I'm going to leave it in here. I haven't used that yet either, but y'all, I love the Super Bees, and I actually just purchased the Hello Kitty, Hello Summer one, and I can't wait to get that. I think I'm going to do a YouTube Live, not YouTube Live, Instagram Live, to share that collection with you guys. So those are my Super Bees. Now in here, I want to put these. These are my fuel cells. These are great for road trips to carry snacks and or like a little lunch box. So this is a print. I don't know if this one is. I think this is Black Ruby. No, it's called The Duchess. Excuse me. This is The Duchess. And I don't know if this one is discontinued or not. I think this one is discontinued. So I have that one. I have, of course, the Disney one, the Disney floral. And then I thought I had a plain black one. I guess I don't. I thought I did, but I don't see it over here. I guess I was imagining things. And then I have these that we're going to put in here. And y'all, this goes, this is, this is a changing pad that goes with one of my backpacks. So I'm just going to shove that inside over here. And then I don't, hmm, I don't know. Okay, these I think have been discontinued from 31 Gifts. These are the, oh, I don't even know the name of these anymore. The little small utility totes they have a name of course they have a name but i can't remember what they are i got them when they were on sale of course i did so these make great little car caddies and then i have this one i think i've shared these in a video if i have i'll link that in a card above but they hold quite a few things so that is all going to go in here and we're going to put these two on the shelf. I think that is all that I have that I want to talk about for these. So I'm going to put these on the shelf. Okay, a few things before I share the finished result. Now this is something I got from GGB that I just thought I was going to end up liking. I wanted to test it. It is the Mini B. And it's just way too small for me. I mean, I know there are some adults that use this and love it. But, y'all, it's just not for me. So, I am going to see if Kate wants this. If not, I'm going to get rid of this. Next is this. So, this is the Cavu Rope Sling. You guys, I have used this. I have shared it on this channel. I used this for a little bit of time, and then that was it. It's just not something that is for me honestly so i i don't know i don't like that the two compartments it just wasn't something that i felt like i was going to use i used it for a little bit and then that was it now my sister loves these bags she has several of them so i'm probably going to ask her if she wants it if not i might sell it or i might donate it because i don't think kate's going to want it either this is my Barrington Gift St. Anne Tote, I think it is. I will link it. Like I said, I got a lot of stuff I'm going to link. And this usually just hangs in my closet. I've had this for probably six years. I love it. Great quality. I have a lot of the Barrington Gifts items. And usually I'll just have it in there when I'm not using it. I'll have it in my closet. And it's usually holding packing cubes or something. Um, right now it's not. But I'm going to put that back in the closet. 
Okay, the last few things, and these are two duffels. So this is my Barrington Gifts duffel. I've only used this a few times. I wouldn't recommend this, and the reason why, if you are an overpacker like me, I can't remember, I think they just have one duffel. It was just not big enough. It just was not big enough. I love it. If you don't pack a whole lot, it's great, but I am an overpacker, and it just was not big enough for me. So this is going to go, I'm actually going to put this, and then this is my... Uh, Disney Vera Bradley bag. I've had this for a few years. I'm going to put both of these in that purple luggage in the floor of my closet just because I don't need it sitting out. So it can go in that and stay until I'm using that luggage and then it will just be removed until I use it. Okay, I think I have two more things. So this I'm just going to put in the top of my closet. So if you didn't see my pack with me video from, I think it was Monday. I will link that in a card above. I talked about this. And this is Kate's makeup. I need to go through here, and I'm probably going to switch this out for something smaller. But I don't feel like doing that today, so I'm just going to put both of these in the top of my closet to address later. And then last but not least, we have this here. So this is my second old snap bin from 31 Gifts. And in this, I just have headbands. So these are from, oh, something coconut. The sassy coconut or something like that. I've had these for years. I haven't worn them in a while, but I like to have them just in case. I need to push my hair back. This is from... Oh, this was a... Oh, I can't remember. If I can remember, I will link it. Because this went to help children with cancer, I think it was. And then this is from... I think it's from the sassy coconut or something, something like that. And then this one... And then I bought these scrunchies that I haven't even opened yet. From, I think it was Hot Topic. Look, they're up themed. So, so you got the purple. And look, you got the chairs. And then you have one with the balloons. So I think this came from Hot Topic. And then last but not least, I have a bunchy from BB Brooke. So there is her little tag there. And I need to wear this. I had, I forgot I even had it, to be honest. I had shoved it in here. If my camera will focus. Okay. And then last but not least, I have this little bunchy from BB Brooke. And I need to wear this. I forgot I even had it. I had it shoved in this little thing and forgot. So, you guys, that is all. So, that is going to go in the closet. And I think that's it. And here is my newly organized closet. So it feels really good. It feels good just to come in here and get everything out of the closet and just reevaluate everything. Even if you don't get rid of a whole lot, it feels really nice just to go through and get everything cleaned out and moved around and reorganized. So this feels really good. So I did change up the way I had some things stored. So these two were actually down here on the shelves and that all fit up there perfectly. So I've got my weighted blanket, my scarves, my hat, my extra, my everything Mary Caddy. Those are my 231 gifts, totes, full of totes, <laughs> full of bags. My Dagny Dover bag, extra hangers. There's the little jewelry organizer there. Then I moved the heated jacket that I had up there. I put it there because it fit perfectly right there. Then I have all of my shoes. y'all have seen i need to get to that laundry that'll be a tomorrow thing and if you see my 31 gifts oh snap bins i just have them snapped to the side over here i don't know if i'll use that second one but at least it's over there all of my clothes up here and y'all i usually do short sleeves and then long sleeves over here so my hangers are a combination of huggable hangers and then some hangers from Bed Bath & Beyond that I've had for years. So my trick is these are all the hangers that I have. If I run out of hangers, that means I need to go through and clean out some things and get rid of some clothes. I do not need any more clothes than hangers. So if I go through all of these and I'm out of hangers, I have to get rid of something. So that's just an easy way for me to do it. and helps me clean up my closet and make sure I don't have too much. So, and then down here, 
these are, and I didn't go over these yet. So these two racks came from Target. Y'all have these all over my house. My husband has two behind me. So I've got sweaters and sweatshirts. And if you can tell, I love sweatshirts. I usually even wear sweatshirts during the summer. I stay cool for some reason. I think it's my thyroid or that's what I've been told is my thyroid. So all of those are sweatshirts and then all of these over here are sweaters. So I did downsize quite a bit on the sweaters because I've been wearing sweatshirts more than sweaters. And then over here we have my two big luggage pieces. And then up here, those are two travel pillows back there. Um, actually travel blankets. That's a Vera Bradley travel blanket and then my lug. Um, agent bear pillow it folds out to be a blanket traveling blanket and then this I did not talk about this is my Disney Vera Bradley Vera tote I think it is I think that's the name of it so y'all I just have my packing cubes in here that's it and it just sits up there on top of that rolling luggage and when I need a packing cube I know to come right in here and get one so you guys that is my newly reorganized and decluttered closet and it feels fantastic and this is the pile of donate and sell so the bag is getting donated and then these items over here are getting sold or given to a family member and then that box down there needs to go back in the attic so that feels good i've got some things decluttered and i did throw a few things away as well so another decluttering project done. So in the comments, I want to know what decluttering project you want me to do next. So let's get a conversation going about that in the comments below. So let me talk about this because I'm sure you're wondering where are your backpacks? If you know anything about me, I am a backpack person. My backpacks will not fit in the closet because I have that many. I like to switch them up. I'm always using a backpack. And they're actually in the gift closet behind me. They're on a whole row. So this closet right back here behind this TV, if you can see right back there, that is where my backpacks are. That's where our gifts are. That's where I keep all of the gifts throughout the year. Christmas gifts, birthday gifts, Valentine's gifts, Easter gifts. All of that goes in that closet. So those backpacks would not fit in my closet. Mine and Nathan's closet, I guess you would say. So I've got them in that closet. So once I get in there and get it kind of organized, I will share that in a video. So I don't want to declutter that on a video because like I said, there are gifts in that closet already for Christmas. Yes, I've already started purchasing Christmas gifts. So I will share that closet. I'm not sure at what point, but I need to go through that pretty soon and declutter it and reorganize everything. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you give it a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys.